it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls, and I thought I would do this. It's it's not cards that we're doing here. It's basically just pick a button. I don't know what to call this, but <laughs> we're going to be using the cabochons. And the intention with this is just to have a light, fun uh, little reading here because, you know, my channel is mostly about going deep and looking at the deeper issues on things. And every once in a while, it's okay to just have fun. So while I was making these cabochons, I realized that they can <laughs> spin around and I was like, get out of here. I bet we could do something with that. So I just grabbed one of the little hobby cabochon things and I wrote yes, no, maybe, and in time. And so we're just going to do simplistic yes or no questions here. I will be pulling other cabochons and other messages for you. But again, this is intended to be incredibly lighthearted just for entertainment, okay? <laughs> this particular reading is not to be, you know, taken as like life guidance advice, okay? Is that clear? Cool. All right, so let's have you pick a button, all right? And this one has a little moon face in it. So you can tune into him. I don't know if that's gonna focus. It's kind of a, a light image. So there's that. Or this sort of cobalt blue button. Or this beautiful teal, sort of peacock themed little button. All right, so feel out which one you want to choose and we will start pulling for those groups. So this is group one, two, and three. Okay, group one, so think about a lighthearted question. Again, this is just for fun. And let's see what comes up for you. All right, so what we're going to do is whatever lands up, that's your answer, okay? So think of your question, and let's see what comes up for you. Oh, oh, that was a shaky yes. That says yes right there, but that is a shaky, shaky yes. So you're getting there, but, uh, you know. You know what that feels like? It feels like you're going to change your mind. All right, so let's get some of these further messages for you. Yeah, watch your intentions with whatever it is that you're asking, okay? Because you might be going after something for the wrong reason. And this might be to prove yourself to, I don't know, for some of you just make money, right? So be careful. So yeah, be careful about what you're manifesting. The Stark Angel Ariel, and she's all about that root chakra and what you bring into your physical existence. Hiding. <laughs> okay, we'll get more of the story here. Peace. That's what you need to find. You need to come to peace with what is grace, live in grace, awareness. Mm, there's something you are not aware of that you need to release. Sorry, I didn't show you that. <laughs> that you need to release. And time. Time always seems to come out whenever I shuffle these, at least the few readings I've done thus far. So this is what you want to be working towards, okay? Time to find peace, grace, release, that way you can be, you know, be at peace. And this actually talks about being in the awareness, right? What What's really important to you? And this, whatever you were asking about, we got a yes answer, a shaky yes, you're not going to want it. You're not manifesting something because you actually want it. It's because you're trying to hide, you're trying to hide behind a persona. Okay. Get more info. You guys know this big bag here. I have to. It's gonna fall right off. It's here. Let me move this. <laughs> this thing is so hefty. Oh, there's just two coming out. Is that right? Okay. Well, one is instincts. See, you're not trusting your instincts. You know what you're doing. You know you don't want to do this. And it's time to turn around. So it's a turning point that needs to get you over into this direction. Okay. So living is that there, living a little more authentically here, guys, and go back. It feels like you're kind of heading in the right direction, but you're taking the wrong approach. All right. You need to be coming from a different intention. And there's still a little bit to be released before you get there. Okay, so again, these are just quickie little fun readings. 
We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Okay, group two. Again, these are just fun, quick little reads just for, you know, entertainment. So think about whatever your lighthearted question is and let's see what the answer is. Uh, whatever pops up here is your answer. Okay, whatever's facing up. So here we go. Let's do that again. It's kind of in between. in time so <laughs> what's your go okay i just heard tripping over your own feet so you're so focused on getting to an outcome that you're not even respecting the journey and all the things that you can learn from that and you're not you're not being realistic in your goals i mean this is not something that's going to happen overnight okay so for example if it's a love partnership Maybe you need to give it a little time for the other person to figure out what they need to do. Or um, if it's a job, you know, you might think, oh, I just want to hop in and do it tomorrow. And maybe you need to build your skills. Okay. So let's get some of these cabochons going. Okay. There. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and pull the other ones too. And we'll get the full story here. Now these, these do move around a lot. So remember that that said in time. Okay. <laughs> that was your answer. Got quite a few. All right. I'll take this guy off. So there they are. What's your story? What's, what's going on here? So we have Angel. Okay. Of course, that's asking you to reach out for protection. This, and you need clarity and courage too. But you have your spiritual team here. So it's like the band of mercy that's coming in and trying to help you out here. Okay. And Gabriel. Gabriel, communication, nurturance for some of you who are looking to get pregnant. It'll happen in time, but you got to take care of yourself. Okay, there are things that you're not realizing about your situation just yet. Jophiel, see the beauty of your situation as it is. See the wisdom of it as it is. This, I swear, I have worked with these a few times now. Time seems to always come out. And you see I'm shuffling my hand through there. So weird. <laughs> okay. Routine. Yeah, manage your expectations here. Caution. Do not force anything. Like I said, it's in time. It's not to be rushed. Whatever it is that you're asking about. Heart wisdom. Mm -hmm. You're not being honest with yourselves. Okay, so here is this whole angelic team over here that can help you get that clarity so that you can move towards something. That is good. Yeah, so here's in time and right now it's maybe. So you're in control of this outcome. So you can make it happen in time right now it could go either way. So you really want to take some caution in how you are approaching things. All right. I guess it helps if I turn it over. <laughs> so there you go. There's that. And what's the final part of the story? Expansion. Your spirituality needs to be priority number one right now because you're not going to get anywhere with what your uh, surface level goals are until you connect. All right. So again, these are just quick readings. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye. Okay, group three. So think about your lighthearted question and let's see what your answer is. Whatever lands up, that's the answer we're going to take. Okay. So here we go. Okay. So we got a yes. Now think of this in terms of yes is where you're heading, but we're going to see how you need to get there. Okay. other guys going to wow you got a few of them okay okay so what do we have as a story here so angel we have some protection for you here and some guidance too peace 
You'd be creating from a place of peace, beauty, and you will recapture the beauty of your life and you'll start to love that life. But we have release, some healing. This is Archangel Raphael. Raphael is all about healing. Raphael is also about travel. So some of you, I know right now, at least as of the recording of this video, you know, this is uh, not the time to be traveling, <laughs> but this can talk about, you know, kind of through your imagination, like maybe you read books about uh, faraway places. I don't know what that is for you guys necessarily, but it's like studying about where you want to go when you have the chance to. And love. Find something that you love. We're going to place this guy here because this is going to be the key to getting to this. All right. Check you out. All right. This is good. You guys are figuring out what you want. You're healing and releasing what doesn't serve you. You're tuning into your spiritual team and manifesting from, I, I think of like the heart space. We've got Archangel Raphael and love. So some of you have gotten it down. Like you know how to do this. You got this down. You know how to manifest from the heart, not the mind. And listening to your, oh, sorry, <laughs> listening to your inner voice and trusting that inner voice. <laughs> There's your second yes. So you got a yes, yes. All right. I love that. So this is kind of your current energy. This is where you are. As I said, this is the energy you're moving into. So you're on the right path here. Just as long as you stay in your integrity, okay, and follow your instincts. If you do this, you guys are, like I said, heading down a good path. But as I said, this is, this is the key right here. If you don't release, if you don't heal, these things can't come together. You're going to get yourself off path. What's more is if you see this and you go, oh, it's all set. I don't have to do a thing. That's the fastest way to mess everything up for yourself. Okay. <laughs> no, don't be doing that. Be in tune with your angels, your spirit guides, and especially Archangel Raphael and get some guidance on how to heal that heart of yours. So I hope that was helpful. Again, these are just short, quickie little readings. I'm leaving it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.